Gambler in Santa Fe, in all Mexico. Going to ride me away, you governor? Oh, Your Excellency. See me again. American troops, a whole army under General Kearney, have entered New Mexico through Raton Pass, and all the settlements along the line of march they have surrendered. And the army is now advancing on Santa Fe. This is the end. No, Governor. Not for us. Only for cowards, Governor. Death Valley Days. Howdy, folks. I'm the old ranger. In the year 1846, this was one of the most famous addresses of Santa Fe. The elegant gambling establishment of the woman known to everyone as Letulis. Born in poverty, but now rich, beautiful, clever, and the acknowledged favorite of the ruling governor. Letulis has won for herself everything a woman could ask for except social entree. Then in mid-August of that year, the American Army of the West took over New Mexico and events occurred that forced her to gamble for the highest stakes in her life. This is the story of La Tules. At last report, I left San Miguel del Barro. A few kilometers from here. We can stop them at Apache Pass. The whole American army? Si, senor. <laughs> Easily in that narrow canyon. Give me 100 well-armed men and four cannon. See, si. and we will wipe those gringos off the map, eh? <laughs> Vamos, amigos! Viva Mexico! Viva, Viva Mexico! Mexico! Josh, who is the commandante here? Oh, pardon, Your Excellency. If you will issue the orders, Governor. So fast, not so fast. Once past the canyon, there will be no stopping the Americanos. I need time to think. I will be waiting outside, Your Excellency. This is like a thunderbolt. The United States declared war last spring, remember? I know, I know, but nothing happened. Are you going to put up a fight? No. You're probably wise. Why to risk the life of our young men in a hopeless cause? Then you agree it's hopeless? Any good gambler knows when the cards are against him. Stop the, the army at the pass, and another one will take his place. I shall spare myself the humiliation of surrender. General Kearney will uh, treat you with dignity. <laughs> He'll have my head. Just because that is the way you came into power? To the assassination of your predecessor? We shall free the capital tonight. Head from Mexico City. We? Oui. You will accompany me, of course. No. We'll be well protected. I shall take my entire staff, over 200 as bodyguard. You think I'm a coward? You would rather see me killed, imprisoned? No. I am only saying that I cannot leave. You can establish another cell in Mexico City and move in social circles that never received you here. Perhaps. 
And what is there to keep you? Miguel. Miguel? Miguel Cisneros, the young man who brought the news? Si. What is he to you? My son. Your son? By an early marriage in Taos. Why have you kept this from me? I need to have son 21. He would never leave New Mexico. You heard him just now. This is his country, his heritage. He will give his life for it. He may, if he stays. You love this boy. More than anything or anyone else in the world. Then I have my answer. There will be no resistance. Let them come. And they're very handsome, Lou. We better join the rest of the citizens in the plaza, huh? I declare this territory to be part of the United States of America under the name of the Territory of New Mexico and hereby absolve all those persons living within its boundaries of any further allegiance to the Republic of Mexico. Those of you who remain quiet and peaceable and are willing to pledge an oath of allegiance to the United States will be considered as good citizens and regarded as such. Those found in arms or instigating with others against the United States will be considered as traitors and dealt with as such. <laughs> Miguel Cisneros. Raise your right hand. Do you pledge your oath of allegiance to the United States of America? I do. On Diego Archuleta. Raise your right hand. Do you pledge your oath of allegiance to the United States of America? I do. Don't you look where you're going, Greaser. Do not call me that. Oh, you don't like it, Greaser. No, I do not like it, Gringo. You are your mind to draw a knife on an American officer, Miguel? I hate them. Down to their very souls, Papa. All of them. Please, Miguel. Yes, I will even shut that in the plaza. For you took an oath of loyalty to the United States. It was in English. But you understand English. And you understand what would happen to you if the world hit headquarters that you are anti-Americano. They will seize you as a traitor. I hear rumors of the insurrection, Miguel. You are not involved, are you? Shouldn't I be? You should be sensible enough to accept reality. If you mean by reality the yoke of the Senora. gringos, I will never... Senora! Senora! Come in, Luna. 
a message from the headquarters of the Americano. For an sterling prize, acting military governor present his compliments and request a private audience at the earliest opportunity to discuss a matter of utmost importance. Oh, Maria Santissima, Joseph has fear. Miguel, Miguel, if some harm happened to you, there will be the end of my word. Oh, I shall tell the coroner that, that there was a mistake, that the lieutenant started the fight. Oh, I shall pay any sum of money he has. Mama, I can fight my own battles. I am not a boy. Luna, tell the message that I will receive coral prize at five o'clock this afternoon. Sí, señor. My mistress, uh, she will receive the colonel at five o'clock this afternoon. Good. Then maybe I'll get to see you again. I, uh, I noticed you that first day in the plaza. Prettiest girl there. My name is uh, Sergeant Malone, First Dragoons. My name is Luna. Hasta la vista, then, till five o'clock. To our country. I've uh, come here today on a rather delicate mission, don't you, Tullis? Delicate? Uh, to the point of embarrassment. You have the air of a man ready to confess that he's bankrupt. And he would like a loan from the house. How did you guess? It is something that I meet quite often in my business. That's exactly why I'm here, Senora. You are a fun. Oh, not myself. The army. The Americanos. <laughs> Unthinkable. Well, it's only temporary. Any week now, funds will arrive from Washington, but. In the meantime, we urgently need supplies for troops that are moving south into Mexico. Go on, go on. Would you tide us over, Senora? With a loan? Of a thousand dollars. I had expected a completely different reason for your visit. A far more personal reason. Oh? Thousand dollars, huh? At interest, of course. Oh, of course, of course. There is a regimental ball this Saturday night at the house of the Peraltas. I had imagined you were coming here today to uh, offer to escort me. I shall be honored, Senora. Then when you call for me, you will have $1,000 in silver waiting for you. A 2% interest per month. You gave money to the Americanos. Madre, I'm ashamed of you. I'm only being realistic. Nothing is to be gained by fighting the Americans. Better to learn to live with them. To eat with them? Drink with them? Dance with them? Oh, it was a wonderful ball. I was quite the most beautiful woman present. You butt your way in. How else? Oh, if you could see the faces of those women when I led the Grand March on the arm of Colonel Price. <laughs> they will never snub me again. I'm more experienced than you in the ways of the world, my son. I came to Santa Fe as a young girl, poor, without friends, working for a living any way I could. I even slept in a cold, dirt floors. How do you think I got what I am today? By gambling. Gambling every step of the way and winning. Now I'm gambling on the Americans. 
I have faith on them. And I know they are here to stay, Miguel. That is where you are wrong, Madre. Before the year is out, they will be out too. Out of New Mexico, out of Santa Fe. Miguel, please. Mark my words, it will happen. And I, Madre, I shall be a part of it. Miguel. Tonight, Calla Guadalupe. The password, Insaretto. This is where I live. Since our last meeting, plans for the insurrection have been completed. The date is set for December 24th. Christmas Eve? The signal for the revolt will be the ringing of the bells for midnight mass. Every American must be killed or driven out. You understand? I have here drawn up this agreement to stage the revolt. And we'll ask each of you here present to sign it. Posterity will know who fought for freedom and who groveled before the gringo enemy. And Tomas Ortiz, as our future governor, your name should hit the list. Miguel Cisneros. If this paper is found, it can mean death to all of us. Have no fear, amigo. It will not be carried about freely. We will hide it right here. Why did you send for me? To show you something. My loan to the American army. Pay with an interest. They are honest. You will have to admit it. They keep the word. You have gone over to the gringos. Miguel, I love this land and its people as much as you do. I will give my life for them. Then fight for them. For what, Miguel? When you have lived as long as I have, you will understand the foolishness of fighting where there is no chance for victory. For every American whose blood you spill, there will be ten more to take his place. And we will kill them too. Miguel, I love my people. I am one of them. But I know they have better chance to lead a good life under the Americans. My son, my son, hatred only breeds more hatred. It is nearly Christmas, the season of peace and goodwill to our men. That is very well for you to say with your backs of American gold and your charming colonel, the successor, perhaps, of Governor Armijo. I'm sorry, Mother. I deserve that. Ah, 
I, I cannot find him anywhere. It's only striking six. Oh, Dios de mi vida, what I am to do. If, if the Americanos are won, it will be the end of the insurrection. And Miguel. Luna, bring my mantilla. Sí, señor. Colonel Price. Donia Tulis. Well, Merry Christmas. May I come in? Please. You're cold. Let me get you a glass of wine. No. There is no time to lose then the five hours. A revolution is afoot. A band of insurrectors are planning to take over the city tonight and murder all the Americans. How do you know this? They were overheard. The church bells at midnight are the signal. Have you any idea of their leaders? Coronel Diego Archuleta, Don Tomás Ortiz, Don José Martínez. Anyone else? Miguel Cisneros. And that is how the Christmas Eve revolt of 1846 was nipped in the bud and the lives of all the Americans in Santa Fe saved. Fifteen of the conspirators were arrested, among them Miguel. They were given a fair trial and freed, since no written proof could ever be found to convict them of their part in the plot. Natulis, whose picture here was sent to us by the Historical Society of New Mexico, had gambled for the highest stakes in her life and one.